Here I have a Makita 18 volt LXC lithium ion battery, it isn't very well at the moment. If you press the button, it's got one flashing light on the battery indicator. If you put in the charger, it will not charge. It'll start off as if it's going to charge and then this red light will start to flash instead of a solid red light. So, that means there's a problem. I've opened up the battery, tested all the cells, and I found the cells to be all well balanced, but low. Uh, I brought them up to voltage artificially by connecting to another battery, a donor battery. But um, this only this only brought the cells up to proper voltage, still well balanced, but the thing will still not charge. So what I have to do is replace this circuit board, this PCB, protection circuit board. And what's happened this one, there's a lot of corrosion there. I found out what happened this one, it's been a victim of water ingress. It's been left outside all night in the rain. And actually I was, I think it was in standing water. So what I have to do is desolder all these connections out those two screws two screws there if you can see them one of my thumb one of my other thumb and desolder all these connections around here and put in the new board this is the new board it looks slightly different than the old board but it's similar enough and the connections are where they should be but when you're buying a replacement board, be very careful and refer to the, um, the actual number of the battery. This is a BL1860B. And actually inspect the circuit board and compare it with what you're buying. Those you're buying online, guy had to. So I'm going to warm up the soldering iron and get this old board off now. It's going to take a few minutes. When I'm waiting for that to warm up, there's nothing to do but remove these two screws. Don't know if you can see that, that's a new circuit board. There's six joints in that, or connections, that have to be soldered in. So I'll have to take the old one out, I'll have to desolder those joints first. Or do anything. So here goes nothing. I have successfully desoldered the board. It didn't come off as cleanly as I would have liked, but it's off now anyway. So, so you remove this part of the board here, the LEDs. Okay, I have damaged two of these connections, taking them off. So I'm going to have to probably branch in a little bit of nickel strip into both of them. Probably need to spot weld a couple of bits of nickel strip onto them to make it work. I've got a little bit of nickel strip there, so I'm going to just tack that on the spot welder. That's up now. This has turned into a larger task than I thought it was going to be. I've had to do a bit of spot welding here and there and have one more joint to just connect and then it'll be time to resolder the things on. Next thing I'm going to do is screw the circuit board back down into position and that'll give me the chance to get everything lined up 
everything fixed up. I've done that and I've refitted this this white thing and the circuit board on where it should be. That is your battery indicator, you know. So there's that. So I'll have to resolder all the joints now. Right, of all the joints soldered now, it's just a matter of putting the battery back together and trying it. Right, of this battery back together now, I'm just going to put it in the charger. It works. It appears to be charging there now. The light's staying solid, so we'll give it some time. Right, the charger just signaled that that battery's fully charged. The next thing to do is try it into a drill that I have here. So that's been a successful fix. That's how you replace the PCB board on your faulty Makita 18 volt LXT lithium ion battery. Please subscribe for more.